Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains, playing as Ryukyu. We finished our, what was it, three video war against the Ottomans? And we didn't get a ton for it, at least it doesn't look that way. We released several new peeps, but in the long run, hopefully it will pay for itself quite handsomely. The most important thing is we robbed them of a good number of forts, especially down in the Arabian area. So we should be able to focus all of our efforts in the future into a nice, concentrated cluster and beat the ever-loving crud out of them. That's the idea. Unfortunately, we are very heavily out of manpower. Um, I don't think we can do anything with the Bushi. No. So the only way I can get more manpower that I can think of right now is to go ahead and sack some military points, hire up some generals, and this guy's just terrible, by the way, hire up some generals, get some army professionalism, and then boom. Because I want to go to war with Russia. Pretty, pretty darn soon. Also, Castile and Portugal. Knock them out of this. Um, let's, yeah, let's just go ahead and get some manpower. I know I'm going to need it, right? One, two, let's get 4.5, three. That's a pretty good general right there. Holy crud. Okay, you're terrible. Get rid of you. I like the two siege value on this guy, but I'm going to have to say no. So, who should I get rid of in place? Um, probably you, to be honest. We're going to swap you around. Let's get rid of you. And then, boom! We get another 89,000 manpower, like so. That's a very nice use of our extra military power if we find ourselves with plenty to spare. It's a very nice way of getting a lot of extra manpower. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, and we are still focused on military power, so that's all fine. Um, don't need to strengthen the government right now. Don't think that's a very high priority. Uh, how are my relationships right now? Delhi has an alliance. They're not especially happy with me. We did kind of not give them what we promised, didn't we? Yes, they're not going to be very pleased with me about that at all. Ah, well. I don't care. I mean, if they want to break off in a relationship with me, it's their own loss. I mean, literally, they will lose. They will all die if they dare to scorn me in such a manner. I mean, I scorn them first. Don't get me wrong. I'm fully aware what I have done is probably the worst, but still. Um, there's not a lot of extra trade power I can worry about getting right now, but we'll spend some money on it. Uh, many factories, a couple of really good ones. We'll just pick up some of those and then boom. Just leave the rest of the money for now. I did rearrange some of my troop movements. Because we would have accidentally walked through Serbia. And that would have gotten like 80,000 troops stuck here with no way out. So hopefully we do not find ourselves in that position. That would obviously be quite bad. We need to ally Chernigov. And we need to give a gift to Jan. So I can start the annexation process. And Delhi has allied the Ottomans. Ah, well then. That is interesting, isn't it? Because what it means is I can break off my relationship with Delhi with the anticipation of murdering them and resetting the truce timer against the Ottomans. I have no expectation that I will ever get to use these guys again. It will be a five-year truce timer, which should be just enough time to fight Russia, Castile, and Portugal. And then we'll turn our attention, kill Delhi, and that pulls me into the Ottomans again. And even if I just white piece out the Ottomans, at least it's a way of uh, resetting the 15-year truce down to something like six or seven years, practically. Which is good. It saves me a uh, truce break in the future. I may not need it. To be fair, Delhi is a bit on the stronger side compared to the other allies the Ottomans has had, so it gets a little bit scarier. Alright, we're gonna ally you. Jan, I need to send you a gift and get you to love me. Uh, 200 ducats. Have fun with that. Boom. Okay, I don't think I need to improve relations with you, so let's go ahead and pull an extra guy off. Chernigov has accepted... Delhi, I am going to break off our relationship because you suck. Bye. Okay, now they hate me. That's fine, though. Uh, we also apparently should stop embargoing the Ottomans because they're saying it's a costly embargo. Which makes me sad, but okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. Where's that? There it is. Revoke embargo. You know how rare it is for me to revoke an embargo? It feels rare, anyway. I wonder if there's anybody I could be threatening, like Aragon. No, we have a truce with you still. Same with France. We could probably threaten England if I'm not planning on fighting them in the next few years. I mean, I do want to kill them. Like, they were going to be my target after Castile and Portugal, but do I think I'll fight them in the next five years? Actually, yeah, I think there's a very good chance of that. We could try threatening, say, Lubeck? Who's left for me to bully? Ethiopia and Wallata, I guess. Yeah. But what if I want to go to war with them? Hmm. Hmm, there's not enough people for me to threaten. I don't like it. I like threatening people. I like being the bully, the biggest fat boy on the playground. I like it. 
throw my weight around is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to fat shame anybody. I'm just trying to say, I'm just I'm just trying to say I like to throw my weight around, okay? Calm down. Ando's preparing an attack on somebody. How fun. We lost Siege of Pahang. Oh, right. I did want to send some troops down this way. Also, these guys don't need to be here anymore, so let's go ahead and get them closer to the ships. Also, also, down over here, we can transport these troops back over, say, here. Actually, let's just march them all the way down. Because we know we're going to be fighting Castile and Portugal soon. I probably will start by attacking Castile. I feel like they are an easy enough target. So, we'll start with that. Actually, I'm going to have you go up here. You can go over here. And you finished those Breton Separatists, did you? Good. I don't know. The capital of uh, Castilian Louisiana is right there. Louisiana, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it. Pronounce isn't even a word. Why did I say that? I don't know. Okay, Chernigov, uh, you are ready to be my vassal. Good, we rob Russia of an ally. Hooray! We get a daimyo. Polotsk did not die. I proclaim a guarantee over you, Polotsk. We're going to turn them into a vassal, too. Why not? We can does it. I has belief. Kalahandi, you've done something you're not supposed to. You done goofed. And now I'm going to devour your soul. Okay. Splendor, cool. Uh, first one of the Age of Revolutions, what should we go for? Liberty Desire from Subject's Development is quite strong. Mm. Better artillery bonus versus forts. If I'm going to be going up against a lot of level 8 forts, this will be pretty good, because I can stack a ton of extra cannons. Um, I don't think I'm going to have this problem against Portugal and Castile and Russia, though, so we're going to hold off on that. Force March, cost no power, can be situationally useful. Global naval engagement's not bad. Coring distance can actually be kind of nice for me. But we already are so spread out across the world that I don't think it actually will ever be an issue anyway. Artillery damage from the back row I like. Just straight up extra damage from lots of artillery. And we always are going to have a lot of artillery. And then Liberty Desire on the same continent. All of Asia. It's pretty nice to be on a large continent, isn't it? We're going to go for the artillery damage. I want to win fights and preserve manpower. But I think after that we're going to go for Napoleonic Warfare. Probably. All right, Polotsk, I need to improve relations with you. I have to wait until August 28th. Tunis cedes lands to my other guy, Fizan. Oh. Well, so be it. Okay, truce with Prussia. Normandy. So it's been five years since I released those guys. We didn't have very much longer with the Ottomans before we would have had the call for peace anyway. Anyone else willing to diplomatically become a vassal? Only Polotsk. Augsburg is shockingly close, considering. Hmm. Economic base. Diplo rep. Four reasons is all I'm looking for. Difference in government ranks. Threatened attitude. Um, I'm curious about something. Hang on. So we have 21 reasons from Diplo rep right now. And I currently have what? 7.8, that means I probably get what? Three reasons for every diplomatic reputation, which actually means... Wait a minute. That actually means if I were to do the Sankan Kotai and get three more diplo rep, that'd be nine reasons. You guys would accept. Oh my god, what? No. Really? This sounds amazing. Okay, we're going to improve relations with Bavaria. I don't know that I'm going to do this right now. And the thing is, we're going to lose some of that Diplo rep when I annex Yawn. So, we may not be able to do this quite yet. But, it's good to have some long-term goals here. We totally could make these people like me enough that they'll become vassals, even though they are in the HRE. That is fascinating. Ravensburg, where's Augsburg? Memmingen, Ravensburg. There you are. Okay, so these four little guys right here. Ah, they're threatened because I released Austria. They know that I can kill them all now. Ah, yes, it all makes sense now. Okay, wonderful. All right, anyway. Denmark declares war on Sweden. Shun declares war on Briatia. Okay. Something I have to make sure I do. Oh, let's go ahead and disable. Kill yourself. There we go. Something I have to make sure that I always do is not use my scrolling... 
uh, on these uh, map modes anymore. Why, you say? Because I'm pretty confident, pretty confident, that that is the re one of the major contributing factors as to why I developed Carpal Tunnel. I'm about positive on that point. Um, because there was a lot of scrolling. So, I have paid the price dearly, I think, for this series. Kind of funny, if it weren't so sad. Man, we have such incredibly good Liberty Desire across the board right now. We're looking so solid. Okay, Min. Mm, I guess I'll go ahead and enable Divert Trade on you, at least until I'm going to go to war. Normandy, Prussia. Man, we have a lot of vassals. I mean, this has always been the case. Like, no one's surprised by this fact. And yet, sometimes, just looking at the sheer number here is ridiculous. All right. Ming declares a war on Dali. Ming, 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 Ming. You know, I take so much pleasure in killing you. All right, these Swedish separatists actually could pose a small problem for me in the future. I have to be cautious about that. Let's get a little bit of extra development going because we have the extra admin power sitting around. Troops are still on the way. We haven't really done anything for a bit. Uh, let's go kill these guys here in Alabama. Where is this? Huntsville? It's actually the province of Alabama, but... It might be Hunts uh, Huntsville. I have no idea. Coruscant broke their alliance with Uzbek. Ondo declares a war on somebody. I think it was Ashikaga or something. I don't know. Not a very smart play, but okay. Uh, we've maxed out relations with Polotsk. Well, let's see what else I can do with them. I'm going to give you an alliance. I mean, we might as well try to improve with the people as much as we can while we sit around and wait. Because I need to get my troops in position anyway. And I can get Polotsk before we go to war with anybody. Okay, more seppuku, more power for me. Uh, Oman insults me. My vassal, Oman, insults me. <sighs> you want to talk about biting the hand that feeds you, you fool. Alright, we're trading on a lot of different things. Yeah, there's no surprises. All right, uh, you know, we don't need to maintain relations with you. Um, have I sent you a gift yet? Nope. Nope, we can do that, though. There you go. Okay, now up to 194. Um, tell you what. I'd like you to take a quick pit stop over here and kill some Swedish separatists. Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. All right, so Polotsk is ready to become my vassal. Which is good. Somebody to feed pieces of Russia so I don't have to worry about coring things. You know, something really weird about this game, this particular campaign is what I mean to say, oh my god, an exceptional 50% tax modifier? Heck of a... Yeah, it's so much better. Um, because I have been able to keep handing off all my land, some rather weird things have been able to happen here. One, yeah, I'm able to continue going to war without spending my admin power, so I'm always full on admin power. But two, because I'm not overextended, I haven't had nearly as many rebels as I would have at this point. I can just keep spreading, and I have a very stable realm back at home, which is actually pretty darn nice. Noise. A lot of people having weird things happening. Zhongzhou went bankrupt. Yeah, you'd probably like me to put you out of their misery, wouldn't you? We lost an advisor, no! We're gonna go for the morale of armies guy. And then boost him up. Boom. Oh, wow, I actually was able to spend all my money. Man, when was the last time that happened? Uh, okay, would you please just do this? Yeah, go go over here, get unblack flagged, and then just turn around and kill. Yeah, yeah. All right, so my troops are about ready for the fighting against... Um, I don't really need the power. I'm going to wait for a minute because I'd rather just not take a loan. I'll take a... Uh, I don't even need prestige. I don't need anything, but I don't want to lose legitimacy and stuff for power. I'm not going to gain anything from that right now. Ardalan declares a war. Okay. Speaking of power. I had a thought. I was going to say something, and I've lost it now. Oh, well. Okay, so those Swedish separatists are gone. Our colony, the Ryukyuan West Indies, declares war on the English West Indies. Fascinating. They decided to just go ahead and get started. They don't want to wait on me. Hey, I approve. Uh, Ryukyuan Mexican separatists. Don't care. Don't care. Frankfurt declares a war, don't care. 
May. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's get these armies a good little shuffle split. Send some of these guys back. Okay, you're all looking solid. You guys are looking good. So we have some armies in position to fight Russia. Now, how strong is Russia right now? 226,000 troops, 69,000 manpower. Hmm. Surprisingly, Portugal has none. That's going to make fighting them extremely easy. We have our 42 stack ready to go right now. So let's think about who you guys are allied to. Portugal is allied to Aragon. Oh, I don't like that. Castile is fighting revolutionary France, so they're an easy target right now. I did plan on fighting Castile first anyway. So this is a way for me to pull in Portugal uh, without necessarily pulling in Aragon. Would Aragon defend them? Yes. Portugal would not defend Castile, though. That's interesting. I wish there was some easy way for me to make you break your alliance, because I really am not in the mood to fight Aragon right now. But they have a lot of trust towards Portugal. So that's not going to happen. Okay, so we may end up having to go to war with uh, a little early with Aragon, which I'm not a fan of, just because it's going to take a lot longer. Castile is an easy target. We're definitely fighting Castile. There's no way around that one. We are absolutely going to kill Castile. Uh, I have troops stuck in Syria still. Forgot about that. We are going to send these guys down here, probably toward Ethiopia. Because I suspect I'm going to kill them. They are weak. Currently being sieged down by Coptic Zealots. So how about we fight Castile, Ethiopia, and Russia? Those are some major players. Castile and Russia, anyway. And it lets me kind of choose a better time to fight Portugal. We'll kind of assess... And then decide what we want to do from there. I mean, we could still attack Delhi. Just to have the intention of... Resetting that truce with the Ottomans. Is a thing we could do. I don't need to demand any admin support. That's the weird thing. Burgundy declares war on Switzerland. Okay. Oh, I approve of that. That's fine. Um, we are going to influence you. And tell you what, um... We will influence Ravensburg. See if we can get these two guys on my side, somehow. Don't have a lot of time to make that work, but we can. Once again, capped out on some power. Sorry, I'm deep in thought here. Um, eco iki, eco iki, eco iki. Many of them. Go clear them out, I guess, but then turn around and come back. Who is this? Ryukyu Mexican Separatists are all the way up here? How the heck did that happen? All right. Uh, Gascony is actually going to go and fight the Castilian Separatists for me. Oh, good. They actually did something useful, and they promptly died. Okay. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. You go here, you go here, you come down here. All right? Good. We're ready for our war against Castile. Trying to siege this down. End to hostilities between court and country in Persia. Mamluk peasants. Gujarati separatists. Ming lost land. Ah, oh, Ming. You're adorable. You just can't catch a break. It's impossible. Ravensburg, I'm going to go ahead and just leave a diplomat working on you. Hopefully by the time we are done annexing Yon and these wars, our diplomatic reputation can reset. And we can try to get some of them on my side. So who do we care we're on first? It depends. If I can pull in, let's say, an ally like Bohemia, which we can against Russia, then that's what we should do first. Because they can't join in multiple wars. So are we ready to fight Russia right now? Yes, I think so. Imperialism! I'll tell you what, it does feel good to yell that again. It's been a while. I, I, you know, playing as the... Um, playing as Transoxiana, or whatever it was, in the last achievement run, that was fun and all. But it was exhausting, and we didn't get to have the fun of yelling imperialism, and I missed it. I did. 
All right, um, we are going to send both of you guys down this way. You honestly don't need a general. I'm going to send you down this way. Okay, so Bohemia coming in is going to be nice. They got a lot of troops over here, which is the only reason I feel the need to reinforce quickly. But outside of that, I think we're going to be fine. And frankly, he's actually got a lot of troops stuck over here. So if we want to be pretty aggressive with our positioning, we might be able to catch out some of his units. And he does not have much of a manpower pool to work with. Bohemia can handle the West. They're probably going to go grab things like St. Petersburg for me. Okay, um, so that's all good. Excellent. We've won the Siege of Pahang. Finally got that back. But apparently we have Separatists alive again. Well, fix that. Are there any generals I want to bring in over here? Honestly, I think you guys are more or less fine. Two generals against you should be okay. I'm going to put a general in charge over here instead. We're going to get our diplomat together, and then we're going to go kill Castile. Got to wait at least a few more days. Can convert some provinces, and we shall. Won the siege of Vaipura whatever thing. Where are you going? Kexholm, right here? All right. Well, I have reinforcements almost over here already, so I'm okay with you making this move. Let's get you locked. They are both locked. I say we go. Perfect. This is going to be a really strong early engagement. He's going to go and try to fight Finland and Norway, but maybe we'll get lucky and he kills the rest of the Swedes for me. Be a-okay with that. So, Castile, guess what? It's time for a little bit more of this imperialistic action, you guys know what it's like. You tried this whole thing yourself for a while, and it almost worked. It almost worked for you, you silly little fool. But now, you must die. IMPERIALISM! It's like toying with your food. It's vaguely rude. Not something you do in polite company. Unless you're me. Let's go to Wapaton, or whatever. You go here. And the two of you start pushing this away. Grab forts. We're going to take a lot of your colonial power from you, Castile. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. We're going to go to Toledo. And we're going to sand all you guys down this away. There we go. Alright, feeling solid. Uh, the next target was Ethiopia. My army is not quite in position, unfortunately. But that can be ch arranged pretty quickly. I think we'll be fine there. So let's pay attention to this fight. He's got 60,000 more troops on the way. Well, I say that, he actually has decided he wants to go south and not reinforce, so he's just given up on this. Did he actually pull his general off? No, he can't have. He's in... He didn't have a general. Never mind. He's in enemy territory. He's not able to do that. All right. So what stats are we looking at? Well, that's a really good starting roll. 7.3 morale versus your 6.7. We have a slight tactics advantage and definitely a 5% discipline advantage, which is quite nice. Basically, we have everything going for us and you're screwed. What's your tech level, by the way? Can we please stop looking at the fight? I want to look at something else. Thank you. Military tech, 25. Okay, you're on time. That's to be expected. That's fine. So we didn't even get our reinforcements here in time, but he is about to send some more after me. So, he's going to get the terrain penalty now. We have some reinforcements coming in. This one's going to hurt. Because uh, he's got 70,000 troops that he wants to fight me with. How long until you arrive? Four days. Okay. He actually has a river crossing penalty as well. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Look at that. Look at that beautiful roll. Look at that. 13 to a 2. Die! Oh, my God. That's beautiful. I'm excited. I'm excitable. All right, let's go to St. Petersburg. He doesn't have much here right now. Uh, we could really use some reinforcements. We haven't even arrived at any of his other forts, though. Chernigov is doing great. Thank you. They actually had 16,000 troops. It's not bad. Not bad for a fresh little vassal that I wasn't really planning on making use of. All right, let's see. So you're going to go down over here. You're going to go over here. Uh, Toledo will be pretty easy pickings. My colonial nations should really step up here and start wrecking things. But so far it appears they are a bunch of lazy bums. Let's send my navy to go try to do some damage and kill their navy. For reasons, I guess. Um, you get over to Iowa. 
I'm not really worried about this. Canada can handle it. So New Castile, it looks weird because they're all the way up here, but really New Castile's territory that I care about, their forts and stuff are all down over here. So we're already working on those capitals. So we're basically working on every capital in the Castilian War that we can. I wish there was a way to kind of just automate the fights. Uh, Bohemia is jumping in. Right, they are a thing, aren't they? I did forget that Bohemia was in on this war for a moment. Uh, I'm quite pleased about it. He's decided to turn around and attack me again. Uh, this is Grasslands, so fortunately it's not going to be a problem for me exactly. But I would still like to win this fight. Rolling a 2 in the beginning is pretty bad. Rolling a 9 to a 1 is really good, though. I'll take it. Uh, we might be able to win this fight still. Depends on the rolls. Well, 9 to a 9. Okay, there goes that fort. That was easy. Let's go to Belize. We might end up having to back off here. It's a pretty close fight. Oh, nope. Zero. Not a chance. Okay, back up. We did lose a lot of men, and he got into my cannons. Uh, we are apparently retreating all the way to Stockholm. Well, not what I had in mind. We have an excess of military power right now, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hire up five more generals and slack in standards and get another 90,000 manpower, because we can. None of these seem outstanding, except for you. Holy crap, you're great. So no to you. You're very balanced, but otherwise meh. Good shock, but nothing else. Same here. Okay, yeah, that's a really, really good general. Um, I keep. Who would I be willing to trade for it? Probably Yusuf. All the way over here. So you get out of there. Okay, back down to our four leaders. Uh, have my troops arrived over here? They have. Let's get a general in charge. We're going to attack Ethiopia next, I think. Now, they do have a couple of allies. Darfur and Wilatia. Wileta? Whatever they are. I don't really care. Do you have any allies? Just each other. Aw, oh, it's so sweet. Alright, we're going to co-belligerize all of them. Vassals and such, we should all be able to handle this, right? I would certainly think so. Imperialism! Let's go get them. Go get them, boys! Alright, let's see. Uh, Capital, capital, capital. All the way down there, alright. Go here. And you, we need to wait until we win these naval engagements real quick. Or, or just take the straight. There we go. Go get Ethiopia's capital. I'm going to let people stack on me. We'll fight these three wars. Well done, Bohemia. Here we go. Going to get some good kills there. Transoxion and Separatists, not really a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do with Russia yet. Probably feed a lot of land to vassals, obviously. Um, I might just take some land for myself. I wouldn't mind, like, having my name stretch across all of Siberia. That could be kind of fun, right? Oh, right, Castile does have some territory down here. Kind of forgot that was a thing. Um, we could get something out of that. Do you build any forts? No, we did not. Okay. Well, then, how about we send you over, I don't care, here? Uh, hello. I forgot that there were also some troops over here. Because he did finish off Scotland, didn't he? Let's get some troops over to siege down Futa Jalon. Just now arriving in those forts. Navy sitting here, having a good old time. We'll blockade them for a bit. Working our way up to Belize. We're fighting Cuba as well. Um, so you're good. We're just kind of waiting on Toledo. Yeah, none of these wars are really that concerning. I should make sure that I don't get, you know, hit unexpectedly by Ethiopia, but mainly it's just about... It's just about fighting Russia at this point. Um, I'm really not interested in carpet sieging with these armies. I'm more interested in chasing him down and murdering him. So, we'll not worry about uh, spreading our troops out. You go up over here, I guess. I guess we didn't actually have a lot of uh, reinforcements on this side of the things, did we? Toledo's out. Morocco's already sieging things down. 
Gascony's already sieging things down. Well, let's go get some free kills. Let's maintain our diplomat with Bavaria. Reformed Zealots. Uh -huh. So Bavaria... We've already influenced you. I'm going to go ahead and give you some subsidies. Why are we not making any progress against Yan? What's happened here? Oh, they're under attack by Shun. Gosh dang it, guys. Stop delaying me for no reason. It's irritating. Where'd my army go over here? Oh, there you are. Couldn't see the guy. I was afraid that maybe something had happened and he just turned around and got stack wiped unexpectedly. Let's go deal with these Swedes. Just because they're annoying me. He is attacking me, but so far I would say that's a bad engagement for him. So he's going to get stack wiped there. That's a good pickup, honestly. Vassals are arriving. They're working on more forts. We are literally fighting on all corners of the map right now. Which is good. This is how I prefer to fight things. Hello. You sent your colonial powers over here for some reason. Why would you do that? It is bold and foolhardy. Okay. Paying attention to all this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Let's go siege all that down. So we could pick up some tech very early, the separation of powers, and start working on another idea group. The thing is, I'm actually tempted to do that. That would allow me to pick up the diplomatic ideas and start working toward province war score cost very early. But it's also a full nine years ahead of time, which is a little ridiculous. How are we looking, by the way, as far as the Enlightenment in um, in Kyoto? Uh, making progress. I definitely would like to embrace the Enlightenment before I take the next round of tech, but that may not be feasible. I don't know quite yet. We have some Vassal Swarm sort of working over here against Ethiopia. Sort of. Not very impressed so far. You're not going to be able to get a general because you're in hostile territory. This should be fine anyway. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to end this video here, but... Fighting quite a few uh, people at the same time right now. Always good to see this much red on the map. Means I am doing the right thing. And we will come back next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.